is an official program from the Parliament of Uganda, and um, it was not just Parliament on its own, but it was in consultation of the members uh, of the family. As you all are aware that Honorable Cecilia Ogwal, as I said, in Lango itself we did not call her the MP for Doholo, we called her the MP for Lago. Even in Parliament, we do not call her the MP for Doholo, we call her the MP for Uganda, because she stood and cherished Uganda as a country and defended it even on the international forum itself. So what has come out so far in this program is that we shall continue with the program as proposed. We do not want, and the family uh, as clearly stated, they do not want this burial program, this funeral process to be politicized. They want to celebrate um, their mother in a dignified way without any political shades. Because every shade of political opinion is mourning her. Different colors, every region is mourning her. It is not only Lango that is mourning her. It is Uganda that is mourning her. It is Africa that is mourning her. Because she was a champion, an icon for women empowerment in Africa, in different fora, in Caribbean Pacific. She's well known and we're having dignitaries coming from all those different countries itself. So we want to reflect who she was. She was somebody who worked without fear or favor for everyone. And it has been the family's wish that even as she's laid down to rest, she'll be laid down as Honorable Cecilia Ogwal, who stood for everyone, not who stood for just one shade of opinion. She worked with everyone. Despite their political differences, it did not transform into political enmity. Despite their different political disagreements, it did not result into political conflict. And it's the wishes and interests of the family that that is respected. So therefore, we want to state that that has not been provided for the program. The family has come out very strongly to say they don't want this process to be politicized. However, during the church services, during the opportunity to pay tribute, every shade, every color of political dispensation in this country will be accommodated. And that is what the program has been made to do. So the program is to accommodate everyone. And I think that is what is most important at this particular point in time. That consideration uh, is made to respect the family's views, but also to use that platform that has been provided for everyone uh, to make the best use of it itself. We all know, and that is also has been uh, um, our wish, you know, she was uh, a member of the Mother's Union, a very strong member, uh, and they put on white, you know, and that is the color that uh, we are also planning, you know, as, as, as both members of the family and also members of the public who want to come and stand with her, you know, so we want to respect that. She was white in color. I think that is what we need to understand, even if she may have had shades of different, different colors elsewhere, in her heart she was white. And we want to ensure that she is buried with that white color without it being stained during this particular time that we are, that we are grieving. Secretary General of the now parliamentary yeah, now um, we see you are part of the team that is in the organizing committee. What should we expect? When is the body arriving and what is the program? Well, we have uh, come out with the official program and we want to thank the President for according Honorable uh, Cecilia Ogwal an official burial because she was not just a figure for Doholo, a figure for her. She's a national figure, she's an international icon in the women movement, so the least really she deserved was an official burial. Uh, we expect, according to the program, that the body will arrive tomorrow at 2.10 aboard Emirates at Entebbe Airport, and the body will then be received by the Speaker of Parliament, uh, who will be accompanied by close family members, who will then have the body uh, transferred to uh, Mulago and thereafter A-plus funeral home which will then proceed 
with the vigil. So the body will come home here in Bukolobi and uh, we will then be able to receive the body of the late here in Bukolobi and have a vigil which is going to be coordinated by uh, parliament in which we will be able to receive um, more information about her death but also it will be an opportunity to pay tribute. It's a very painful period, it's a difficult time. You can see the huge numbers that have been coming here and uh, it's quite difficult but we're praying for God to give us the strength. Uh, that will basically be the program uh, for Monday, uh, for Sunday and that will be a journey to Bogolobi uh, for the last time. Uh, thereafter on Tuesday, on Monday, we expect to have the special tribute on the floor of Parliament um, beginning at midday. That will be after receiving her body at 9 a.m. at Parliament, uh, in which also members of Parliament will have an opportunity to view the body and also give and pay their last respects uh, to her. The body will then lie in state um, overnight in Parliament. We expect many members of Parliament, members of the public and the family and the clan to be there uh, to stand. It's a difficult time. You all know that she was a very strong legislator. And if there's a place that she loved most, was being in the plenary for Parliament. And that was her home for almost more than 30 years itself, right from the Constituency Assembly to her uh, MP ship as uh, a Lira municipality and also a member of Parliament for Doholo. Um, then on Wednesday, the body will then move to Doholo via Soroti, where it will be having a, a vigil. Sorry, on Tuesday, the body will then go to All Saints Church in Casero, where they are going to have an, a church service. We know that there are so many people who would want to be a part of this and will not be able to be part of the parliamentary process. And therefore, on Tuesday, they will be at um, Oil Saints Church in Casero, where they will then be able to have a church service. From there, the body will depart to go to Doholo uh, via uh, Soroti. Uh, thereafter, there will be a vigil at a dog sub county in Doholo. That is where um, she was. She grew up. That was the home where her parents came from. And again, that will be uh, the, the time that uh, the people of Doholo will be able to stand firm with their leader, who they have known for very many years. So, um, the following day, which will be on Wednesday, there will be a joint council sitting. All the district councils in Lango will converge at Doholo district headquarters to have a joint council sitting in which um, they are going to pay the last respect uh, to her. Remember that Honorable Cecilia Ogual to us was not just the MP for Doholo, we called her the MP for Lango. And that's why we're having this Lango sitting inside. Because we knew her as somebody who stood for everyone, irrespective of the shades or color or opinion. You know, she knew no boundaries when it came to development and articulating uh, the issues itself. So that will bring us to the program for Wednesday, which will end with her body going to Lira City, uh, where it will again uh, spend the night. Now we all know that uh, Honorable Silio Gal, when she was called the Iron Lady at that time, she was a member of parliament for Lira Municipality, a docket she held for about almost 13 years. So we'll also give an opportunity for the people of Lira to pay their final respects to their leader, who served them diligently, without fear or favor, with courage, you know, for quite a long time. Um, and thereafter, the following day on Thursday, there will be a church service at um, St. Augustine, Barogole, which is in Lira City. Uh, the body will then leave for Kole in Alito, which will then have another service at St. Paul's um, Archdeaconry Church. Uh, which is an Anglican church of Uganda, where again there will be another service. That is a church where she constructed her family, played a very big role in constructing, and again there will be an opportunity for the final respects to be paid there. There will be a night vigil at Kole, uh, at her home in Alero, and then the following day there will be again a church service that is Friday, plus again um, a night vigil. And then on Saturday will be the day that we shall then lay her to rest, at a matrimonial home in a little sub-county, a little town council uh, in Kole district. So it's quite an intensive 
um, seven day product pro program uh, which has been developed to accommodate uh, every sphere of persons whom uh, she influenced in their lives and so the people of Doholo, the people of Lira, the people of Kole, Kampala which represents really the rest of Uganda itself will have an opportunity to pay those last respects. Uh, are there any 